Okay, for the next installment on this Cordoba, looks like we're gonna talk about the axle. Um, it's pretty clean in there. I, uh, I washed it out as best I can. Get in here and kind of look at the gears. Gears look really nice. So I don't think we have to rebuild anything. We're just gonna put a bunch of new wheel bearings in and seals and that kind of stuff. Get it all cleaned up, of course. Um, really not a whole lot to say about it. I didn't take any video of the leaf springs. I've already got those done. So I will add just some still pictures of the before and after. And then, of course, there'll be the after when it's leaf springs and the axle and everything are all kind of put together. So that's kind of about it. Okay, we have the reassembled, finished product, her axle anyway. Looks pretty nice. Actually looks really nice, considering that 99% of it you'll never see again once it's under the car, but there it is. We'll get close in on some of the details and stuff. There's the little focus. There's the gear ratio tag. A real highway 271 gears. And there's just a production number tag. I don't know what it means. Um, stainless steel brake lines on, of course. Springs are put on. Springs are rebuilt. I didn't have a video of the springs, but I got pictures, which should have been, you should have just saw those a little bit ago. But I got a uh, kit, and you can kind of see here, if it'll focus for me. Um, there's little inner liners. There's these thin um, galvanized pieces that go in between there. Um, New rubber, or new plastic I should say, um, anti-squeak pads, and the straps, those are all brand new. I got that as a kit um, for a different year car, like a tr more traditional muscle car, but it's the same stinking kit, so, and it fits. Um, I don't have the drum over on this side, so I could show you the beautiful new brakes that are in there, all the hardware and the whole ball of wax. You know, and the other side is on, and I've got anti-seize in places where stuff will seize or rub and stuff, so. So that's good. Front new bushings are put in on both sides. Parking brake cables are the originals, and they actually move. I don't know. I don't know, you probably can't see that anyway, so. Um. The astute viewers, followers, will realize that in the last video, this was hanging up underneath the car. Now it's on here. I needed it underneath the car so I could line my brake lines up. Now I need to bolt it onto the axle so I can bolt my lines in. That's the rear axle. It's on a nice little newly built cart that spins nice. So when the time comes to put it under, I can roll the whole assembly underneath the car, which is sitting right there, and put it in. And I've got a few other things over here. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I've got a few other things over here. Um, here's the sway bar. I kind of wanted to bolt this on to the assembly and to make it easier to put in, which I will when the time comes. But I got new sway bar links from a place called Rare Parts. They're out in California. And I got four of them because I knew I'd need two, maybe two more for the front. And I knew they were probably going to be a little different size, which they are. That, this is the old one, and the one underneath is the new one. So you can kind of see they're probably three-quarters of an inch or so longer, which I don't think is going to matter too much. But having two of them different lengths, that would. That would become an issue. And boy, my camera will not focus. What the heck? There we go. Anyway, um, I'd, this one was still good. It hadn't broke off. Um, a little crusty in there, but good grief, it's, you know, 40-some years old. 
Um, but this one did. So, replace one, had to replace both. The new ones are bolt-on design. The, the originals, you can kind of see here before I go over there. Um, this one is still a little bit attached. They're welded together right at the factory. They put the rubber on and they clamp that thing over the top and weld it on. And the new one is like that. That's the, the new design for the link, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Is it 100% you know, correct for a hardcore restoration? No, it's not. But that's fine. That's not what we're going after right now anyway. So I've got um, brackets that go under the frame rails. I've got my shackles there. More uh, pieces for the outer bushings, which I have to clean up yet. They're still kind of ugly. But So, yeah, this is, this is pretty much done, minus the actual bolting it into the car. The last thing I need to do to the body before that, and I'll show you that quick here, is right under here. I might have shown this before, but this is the rear, the lower rear body. I couldn't get at any of this stuff when it was on the rotisserie. So realistically, the only way to do it was either completely ignore it, which is not in my vocabulary, or wait till I had the thing off. And I'll take this out. I'll do a quick blast to it. I've got one little spot. Where was it? Right here. I've got to weld a little, little tab on, or a little filler piece, pretty minor. And then I'll paint the back side of this, and then the body shell will be done, as far as paint goes. And then I just start reassembling. So that's kind of where we're at right now.